The Little Star Once upon a time, there was a little star that had gotten away from its one true path and could not find it again. So it wandered for days and nights to look for it. One night on its journey, the little star sat resting on the branch of a grand oak, quite tired from the search. The moon rose in the sky and shone upon the little star and said, My little star, listen well. Tomorrow you will come upon a crossroads. Seven paths there will be each leading its own way. Think well on which path to take, for only one is your one true path. Be smart and follow your heart, and you will not miss it. The next day the little star continued on its journey, and soon it reached the crossroads the moon had spoken of. Seven paths there were, and from afar they all looked the same, but their sense differed greatly. The first path sparkled as if made of pure gold. The second path shone silver like a ray of moonlight. The third path was made of soft white feathers soft as stones, while the fourth path was of black, sharp stone. The fifth path was of fine yellow and brown sand. The essence of the sixth path was of brown earth framed by green oak leaves. And the seventh path, finally, was of deep blue ocean, clear as crystal. The little star was confused. Which path should it choose? In their sense, they all seemed friendly. The star investigated the golden path thoughtfully. It sparkled ever so prettily. But the little star remembered many old stories and there sparkled to wrong decisions. This was not the star's one true path. The little star looked at the silver path. Silver was purer than gold, but all the same, its shine could deceive. The path of feathers was all different. It resembled white doves and peace and innocence. The little star hesitated. A child's innocence? Would this be the one true path? Or would it wash its hands of responsibility by walking it? No one is without flaw, the little star thought. And I have to accept mine. It turned toward the path of hard black stone, but feared to be hurt and turned away again. The path of yellow and brown sand seemed safer, but then the star remembered that sand could be crumbled and brushed away to blur your path. The star looked toward the fixed path. Oak leaves, green as hope, framed rich brown earth, the spirit of Mother Nature. But would the leaves not be blown by wind, whirled and whipped by storm? Was their green not fleeting? But even then, the green leaves would fall apart and become earth again, a never-ending cycle. But the little star was not sure yet. After all, the ascent of the last, the seventh path, was of deep blue water, 
blue as faithful loyalty. Water could be calm and soothing, but wild and roaring also. Water gave life to plants, to animals and every other living thing. But also it could take life. Its strength and resilience could wear away the hardest rock. Life and death, one could not be without the other. Everything was one. By now the little star was thoroughly confused. It could not decide. Should it choose the sixth path or the seventh? Both showed life and death in their essence, the force of nature. The star pondered, the green leaves turning to earth, the hope inherent in Mother Nature, the hope that never died, even when it lay lost. As long as there was hope, there was a path in sight. The little star smiled, gathering new courage. If it chose the sixth path, it would find any way it was destined to find. It just had to keep up hope. That thought the little star took into its heart as it followed the path of earth and green oak leaves. Which way would you choose?